Look, this may come as a shock to some of you, but until the world ends, there's going to constantly be new music being made by new bands. But here's the kicker. Just because it's new doesn't make it somehow inferior to everything that came before it. Also, just because it's new doesn't mean you have to be some sort of trend-sucking hipster to be into it. No, it doesn't sound like Led Zeppelin 2, and no, her vocals aren't on par with Polystyrene's performance on the Germ-Free Adolescence record. But guess what? 99% of all the music ever made doesn't meet those requirements either. Is the new measure for something that doesn't suck the fact that it has to be an instant classic? If that's what you think, I've got some sour news for you, Jack, because the fact of the matter is, a majority of the so-called classic albums in history took a little while to catch on before they got big. Sure, there were some that were instantly important the moment they were released, but for a majority of them, it took some time. Let's also not forget that in most cases of these iconic records, they're the second, third, or fourth release from the band in question, and their early work didn't really get the big recognition until they made it big with the later albums. I'm not saying that you have to be into the latest pop star singing about a broken relationship or the new rock band whose lyrics are filled with poorly written sexual metaphors. But to hate music simply because it's something new, that's just stupid. I'll be honest with you, some of the best hard rock and heavy metal albums that I know of have been released in the past five years. These are albums that I would argue alongside classics from Black Sabbath, The Who, The Stooges, you name it, as they are easily on par, if not better in some cases. You know what the difference is? They just haven't had the decades of luxury of fanboys and critics extolling their virtues. But trust me, in time, I'm gonna be right on this one. The same goes for recent efforts in the world of blues, hip-hop, jazz, you name it. There are exceptional, life-changing albums being released in every single genre every single year. It's not like quality albums, and we're talking legendary quality albums, stop being produced in 1983 or something. Yes, there's certainly more to sift through nowadays simply because music is more accessible for people to make and for people to find. But with this new frontier, the reality remains more true than ever that there's always something new to hear, some new sound to discover and fall in love with. There are new approaches, new techniques, new fusions and sound coming out all the time. And the more you brood around wanting someone to just rehash the old sound, the more you're missing out on great new music. So if you're one of those people who just sits around and will only listen to new music if it's able to move you like something you've been listening to for decades, you're missing out on the point of music. And honestly, new music hater, get over yourself. Oh!